What up gamers, Laz here, and in today's video, we're going to be going through the Warden of Nothing Grandmaster Nightfall. I'm taking a bit of a different approach to what I'll be recommending, so let's jump right into it. My recommended team comp for this GM is slightly different than what I'd usually recommend, and my reasoning is basically all about the boss room. That room is a massive yikes, so burning the boss is my biggest recommendation. And to do that, I'm going to suggest two Chaos Reach Warlocks, both with Geomags, obviously, and a bottom tree Tether Hunter with six Coyote. Honestly, the majority of this gem is fairly easy in my opinion, with the boss room being one of the few places where things get dicey. For weapons, we all ran Anarchy. Yeah, 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 I know, there's other things to use, but we're trying to go for consistency here and Anarchy is probably the most consistent weapon in the game. We all also ran Succession. Any Kinetic Sniper will theoretically work, but 72 RPMs just break the barrier shields the fastest. In the energy slot, one person ran Unstoppable Palindrome, although Bottom Dollar is an excellent choice as well. Unstoppable on Last Perdition is also a good choice for those longer range situations if that's more your thing. I initially ran an Overload Arsenic Bite, but the only shields we came across were Void, so Imperial Needle is the bow I'll recommend here. For mods, we have the usual suspects as before, so let's blast through these real quick. Protective Light helps keep you alive. Taking Charge to get you charged with light. Charged Up to increase your charge with light stacks from 2 to 3. Reactive Pulse, cause I said so. Barrier Sniper mod all around. Overload Bow for the Legolas of your squad. Unstoppable Hand Cannon and or Unstoppable Pulse Rifle for those other two gamers. Special Finisher was on the Hunter to keep the Sniper ammo healthy. Shout out to Surge Detonators if one of your Warlocks wants to run it. I personally did. And appearing for the first time in my guides, Sundering Glare, which is also ran by the Hunter. Sundering Glare is basically the cornerstone to baking this boss. Without it, the boss room will be a huge Monka S. So if you only use one mod from this list, make sure it's Protective Light and then put on Sundering Glare anyways. You'll thank me later. I stream regularly on Twitch, and I usually do GM helps on the weekends. Link is in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with all things Twitch related. That link is also in the description. This entire GM is fairly straightforward. Clear out these asshats, sauce this first overload minotaur, and go through to the first train area. Once you get to this area, again, clear all the ads and start working on the unstoppable. For some reason, in my runs, he didn't push my group at all, which I'm not mad about. Take out the ads across the way, then go across. Just be mindful of the trains. Take out this barrier, then you can jump up on top of the track and run through to the end of this area. Deal with this next unstoppable, clear the remaining ads, then work on the barrier at the end of this room. Once you've cleared everything, push forward into the next area, and take out the goblins and hobgoblins to give yourself some space to work. Push forward enough to spawn the champs, then fall back. Take out the top left barrier as soon as you can. We then had one of the Warlocks Chaos reach the Adds and the Hydra, while the other two worked on the left barrier. Continue clearing the Adds, use the cover to your advantage, and once the big dude comes out, have the other Warlock Chaos reach him. Don't forget to do any special finishes you can to make sure your ammo is topped off, then you're on to the next area. Clear out the idiots that come out of the pods on the right, then start working on the Adds in the next room. There's two Unstoppables here, but they don't really push you at the same time, so just kite one towards you, sauce them, then rinse and repeat on the second. Clear out the rest of this area and you're onto the second to last room. What my group did was clear out the barrier champs ASAP, then we worked on the overload afterwards. We then killed the rest of the enemies except for one. While this one guy was left alive, we ran around the entire arena and destroyed all the mines and explodable barrels, just so they didn't screw us over later. Once you're ready, set anarchy traps on the left and right doors, then kill the last guy. A few vex will come out of both doors, but they should die to the anarchy. One barrier will come out of the right door, and one unstoppable will spawn towards what we'll call the Cabal side of the room. Before we defused the first mine, we made quick work of the barrier champ, then dealt with the unstoppable. We had our hunter cap the first plate while both warlocks went to the Cabal plate. Use your supers to take out any adds if you can. Our hunter then went to solo cap the vex side plate, just abusing the invis build. If needed, once the Cabal plate area is clear, you can send a warlock over to use their super on the vex. If you're up to it, you can stun the overload champ that's in the back of the room, and you'll still get platinum without killing him. If not, no worries. Once both plates are done, you can come to this area over here. Your only objective is saucing the quote-unquote mighty cabal guy that spawns. So same thing as everything else, 
two anarchy shots, then snipe them down. Once the room is clear and the rest of the adds despawn, you're playing the waiting game. Run around and collect any ammo you can, then just chill until all three of you have your supers. I recommend going down the chute one by one just to avoid someone dying to complete BS. We know it will happen. Whatever you do, don't jump into the boss arena, just stay on this platform. Work on the overload and unstoppable from up here, then you can jump across to work on the barriers. Once the champs are dead, I recommend sitting in the back where you first jump down. This is where Sundering Glare comes into play. Have your hunter snipe the boss's crit twice to proc Sundering Glare. Then they can shoot two anarchy shots and use their super. At the same time, have both warlocks hit the boss with two anarchy shots as well, then meme beam this guy down. Once the supers are over, everyone should hit the boss with two more anarchy shots, then get invised by your hunter. If everything works correctly, the boss should die quickly if they're not already dead. And GG's. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, drop a comment down below to continue the discussion, something 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 sub to me, it's free, just do it. And Laz, out. I can't.